Hello everyone and welcome to Vegas Showbiz. We are Jessica and Michael Pellegrini. I gotta tell you, we're super excited about this video. Absinthe has been at the top of our must-see Vegas shows list for some time now. Yesterday we were finally able to make it happen. Uh, it was literally just last week that we were making a different video for the channel and during that video we were talking about how much we want to see Absinthe. Kudos to Jessica. Yesterday afternoon she scored an amazing deal on tickets for us. If you stick around for the end of the video we'll be happy to share with you how we got such a great deal. Uh, but a lot of good stuff to get into on this one. I don't know if it was Manifest Destiny or what, but we made it happen and we're really glad that we did because it was well worth the wait. Um, one cool thing about this video as well is that uh, not only are you going to get our review, but you're going to see a lot of footage from the show. Normally we're not able to take uh, video during the show or do photography or anything like that. We're always respectful of the camera policies whenever we go to a show and usually you're just not allowed to do anything like that. But that wasn't the case to our surprise when we were at Absinthe. We even double checked, but uh, it's just all they ask of you is no uh, uh, flash photography during the show and that was no problem. So I had my phone out quite a bit picked out a lot of my favorite parts of the show and you'll be seeing those as we go through the review. We're going to talk about the venue, the pre-show activities, the highlights of the show, all that good stuff. A lot to get into. Um, before we do, we just have one small favor to ask of you. If you could help us out by hitting the subscribe button, we would really appreciate it. We're trying to grow our YouTube channel. There's a lot we want to do with the channel and your support by subscribing does go a long way. We truly do appreciate all those uh, that subscribe. So if you could do that, we would appreciate it. And uh, enough of my spiel. We got a lot of good stuff to talk about. And for that, I give you Jessica Pellegrini. Okay, well, let's start from the moment you walk in. It's very enchanting. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, there's an outdoor area. First of all, we weren't certain if the show itself was outside or not. We yeah. knew it was in a tent. We didn't really knew, know what that meant. We've certainly been to circus shows before. Mm -hmm. But we weren't really sure what to expect for this one. So the outside area, the only outside area, is the bar, mm -hmm. if you will. And I guess you could call it like a lobby or a waiting area. Yeah, yeah. Um, they do offer food, which we'll show you a picture of the food and drink menu. We mm -hmm. both enjoyed a cocktail. They were fantastic. They were really nice. Mine yeah, was so good. Yeah. I had the uh, hallucinator. Right. <laughs> it was delicious, yeah. and it did uh, it did its job. Yeah, yeah. I had a whiskey cocktail that was very nicely made. Mm -hmm. So the outside was fantastic, and it does sort of transport you into what you're about to see. Yeah. It's hard to put a word really on um, the whole vibe of the theater itself. It's almost kind of vintage campy. Yeah, you know, I, I think of it as kind of um, like a over-the-top 1920s or early 30s feel to it. You know, just, I don't know. It's it's kind of glitzy and glamorous, but vintage in the same way. It was way. really cool. Like I said, from the moment you walk in, but then also once you go inside the tent. Yeah. It's much smaller than we expected. Right. Looking at it's the intimate. seating chart and getting tickets, it looked like it was going to be a bit bigger. And I thought, well, you know, we'll be a little bit farther away, but these are a good deal, so we'll deal with it. Our seats were fantastic. I mean, we were so close. He was high-fiving I, I high-fived a performer. It was awesome. <laughs> and just, we also had several people perform literally right next yes. to us. Yes, so that was we were cool. on the aisle. Um, it's hard to pick a favorite moment from the show. Mm -hmm. There is really something for everybody's um, tastes, if you will. It's over 18 for a reason, and, and that becomes clear pretty quickly. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I thought it was awesome. Yeah, I mean, there's just a little bit for everybody. It doesn't matter if you're more into the acrobatics or the different forms of dance. The comedy was outstanding. The mm -hmm. crowd interaction was so good. Right, and I will say we've been to a lot of Vegas shows and a lot of burlesque style shows. This one was classy. Yes, absolutely. The The performers were beautiful. The costumes were, they looked great. They didn't look like they were 12 years old, which the <laughs> show is 12 years old in right. Vegas. Right, good point. 18 years old overall. It started in New York. Um, it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I will say, I have to just disclaim this because of what we actually saw. Um, they do pick on the people in the front row. Oh yeah. The comic, but which is so typical for a Vegas show. Mm -hmm. The comic definitely picks on the people in the front row and you gotta have thick skin. And 
We actually saw a woman walk out crying. Yeah, and her she friend had to the like entire show. escort her out. These are expensive tickets. I mean, and what's a normal ticket I for wanna, that show? 160 bucks 169 or something? dollars. And you know, I want to be sensitive to everybody's situations, but it seemed like a shame to have front row tickets and miss it because the comic picked on you. Yeah, and the guy stayed was the funny part. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. It's but true. anyways, if you're gonna sit in the front row, you're going to get picked on. Yeah. You're also in a splash zone. Yeah, there is yeah, a water see scene that. where they give you sort of a splash guard. They put like a tarp, like a clear you know, tarp on people. Ladies, your hair's gonna get wet, like that yeah. sort of thing. Now, I think front row seats would be awesome. Sure. Um, but if you don't want to get picked on, or if you're one of those people that just kind of wants to be back and observe, do, do not sit in the front row. Yeah, the main MC of the show is just hilarious. And this guy was, you know, he was very much engaging with everybody around. It's a circular stage, mm -hmm. so there's front row all the way around. And he was just riding people, man. It was hilarious, but just so well done. So the, the story of the show is an absinthe. Um, Trip, trip if you will <laughs> yeah, I think um, that's fair. it starts off with the first performer um which if you haven't seen already you will be seeing he stacks up the chairs yeah, and he's got the absinthe now. with him mm -hmm. um and the rest of the show is sort of his journey yes it's not a huge storyline but there is a bit of a storyline yeah yeah um but it's just nonstop excitement to for real nonstop excitement. Each act was so cool, you know. I mean, you've got some of them are more focused on the men, some are more focused on the women, some are more of like couple interplay. Mm -hmm. You know, there's definitely a, a lot of sexual vibe going on, but there's also they mix in the comedy and they they just they do it so well. It all just blends so seamlessly from one to the next. It was a very exciting show yeah, all the way around. Absolutely. Like if you're not walking out of that show feeling a little bit buzzed and jazzed just inside and out you're something's wrong like, yeah it was a yeah. very good show i mean we've been to a lot of vegas shows and that one got over and we just looked at each other and was like well that was the best show we've seen <laughs> i have a new favorite for, is for what real. I said. Yeah. yeah i mean yeah. so outstanding i just i loved that show i loved every minute of it mm -hmm. and again you know you're not far away i mean even though we didn't have front row we we're probably what 12, 15 feet from the stage or something, not mm -hmm. far. And you can mm -hmm. kind of get that from, from the video. So it's an intimate performance. You feel like you're a part of it. Again, we were right on an aisle. So performers are coming back and forth the whole time. And mm -hmm. you just feel so much like, like a part of the experience, not just watching the experience. Right, right. Yeah, it was very cool. Um, do we want to get into pro tips now? Um, yeah, I mean, we definitely saved a lot of money and, and that was kudos to you. So go for it. Um, well, before I get into tickets, I want to say one thing about people that like to take bathroom breaks during oh, shows. Oh, sure. Good call. Yeah. Because to be honest, I, I'm one of those people that when I have to skip out, I've got to. But in this particular show, one, the restroom is out the tent and across the, the walkway, if you will. But then they stop you back at the door no matter how fast you are and let you back in when it's safe. So you ultimately always end up missing something. I mean, I left when it was the comedy act thinking that I wasn't going to miss any of the like real exciting stuff. And I missed half of the tap dancers, which yeah, I'm really sad they were about great, yeah. um, because it wasn't safe to go in, which that's fine. That's their policy. It's no big deal. I just, I wish I would have known. I would have waited. Yeah. It wouldn't, wouldn't have been worth it. So Good call. that's kind of a strange tip to give you, but if you don't want to miss the show, mm -hmm. like plan ahead. Yeah. Um, pro tip on the tickets. Mm -hmm. So we, um, this doesn't require any sort of subscription and I cannot guarantee that these things are going to be available all the time, but we mm -hmm. have seen them now, um, at least a few times and it's on the AXS app. AXS is a ticket source and they sell all of Spiegel World. We can tell you a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. Tickets and I found $50 tickets for the day of the show. Yeah, and with we, fees and everything, what were we like? 120 $122.50 for two out tickets the door out the two, door, which I mean, we were seats. so excited about. Yeah. These tickets normally run for $169 a piece. Yeah. And Gosh, I was so excited to see those tickets. So AXS uh -huh. is the app that we use to find them. There were other tickets available that night that were discounted, but nothing is discounted as 50 bucks. So, mm -hmm. um, now this was a Wednesday night that. show. This was the earlier show, which was an 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. There's a, yeah, an 8 p.m. and a 10 p.m. show. Yeah. 90 minute show, running mm -hmm. time. 
Um, yeah. Caesar's Palace, I don't think we said that in case you don't realize, it's, it's literally outside at Caesar's Palace. If you've seen Hell's Kitchen on the Strip, it's basically like right behind that in the courtyard outside of Caesar's. Right. And just real quick, because I did mention Spiegel World, it's a company that does have three shows here in Vegas and mm -hmm. a couple of eateries. Um, hopefully come back to the channel and we'll tell you about one of the other shows. Yeah, I, mean, I know I want to see them I want to see them now too. I mean, I was so impressed with <laughs> this one. Very impressed. Yeah, so, it was we'll well see. worth it. So, what was your favorite act? Did you have a favorite act? I cannot pick a favorite. They were so good. I loved probably one of the closing acts because I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Like, please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Yeah. And that was the roller skaters. Oh, yeah. They were really cool. Yeah, that was incredible. Um, and the, I also kind of like the one that we probably can't show a lot of, that it was just uh, two a guy and girl dancing, and it was very intimate, but it was... I've got some of it. I'm, you know, I, I don't like want that one. I don't want to get in trouble from YouTube, but... Right, uh, and Lady Absinthe, ooh, wow. I liked her too. Yeah, I also thought it was really impressive the way it started off with the guy stacking the chairs and the balance, I mean, one arm on all these chairs, and he's holding himself up, the strength, the balance, incredible. Mm, yeah, the, there was an act called hot girls on sticks on on sticks or ropes or what a one i'm not you're probably right whatever um, they were great i mean honestly i don't have a favorite they were it was so good there's eye candy for everybody in yeah, this show it, there really was you know it doesn't matter if you think you're into it or not into it <laughs> it's so awesome it was it was epic yeah. so really really encourage you to go check out the show yeah if you're bringing your kid that just turned 18 it might feel a little awkward i don't know something like that but as a couple or anything like that or a group of adults man i don't see how you can beat it yeah I, mean, I agree totally agree cool all right, all right. well i guess Thank that's you. it for now yeah again if you can help us out please subscribe to the channel we look forward to seeing you we hope you enjoyed this one but we'll see you in the next video bye